Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're just going to be talking about um, a little bit of a story time of the time I thought I saw an alien or saw an alien. It's one of my earliest memories. Let's get into it. I'm just going to be painting a little alien portrait as we go along. So um, if you want to join me with that, let's start. So I'm just going to go over this painting that I sort of scraped up and I'm just drawing an alien over it. But yeah, so this story first started in, um, it was Key West, Florida. I lived in a little house by the beach, or I believe so, and there was a really big hurricane or storm outside. So basically a lot of the weather and times there um, are light would go out our like um power and so we'd have to get uh flashlights and we would sort of like go to the balcony and see the rain and stuff like that and there was a time where this one it was a little bit different there's a huge like jolt to the house um which of course could have been the hurricane but then the power went out um again i got scared my mom went down to the kitchen to get some flashlights and I decided to go straight to the balcony or straight to the screen um, and look outside and see the rain. It was just illuminating like pure drenchedness of rain and I couldn't see anything besides lightning. Um, so each time the lightning struck i saw like the rain i saw like the palm trees and that was about it until about the time i was actually um there was like a second or third lightning or thunder that just like illuminated everything and i saw this creature at the window and basically to me it looked like a little bit of et it was had a very big head very long fingers and it was just sort of reaching out to me like it just slowly st stuck out it's like really long fingers and was like trying to press it up to the glass and i just i stood in fear i stood in shock i was just standing there like what the heck is this what's going on and then honestly enough the second strike um, it disappeared like I couldn't see it again the lights came up immediately after I was like what's going on what is happening and that was that I did not get any sleep or maybe I did I just like stood awake watching Nick at night um, you know hugged up to my mom because I was too scared to sleep by myself and I was just like oh no like let's not do this but yeah that was the first story the second story was basically that um i saw one at burger king at 5 a.m in the morning on the way there um there was a burger king by my house that had it was like a leisure um elderly uh you know community and their burger king uh was really really was open really really early so me and my mom decided to drive up there and as we were driving up there um there was it was almost like a helicopter like we can see this big machine type thing just floating down the street because we were driving in our car and as we saw that it had no sound like it was completely soundless it was um, it was as big as our car just floating in the air without any like wings any blades anything so we we're like okay this is weird and there was no one on the road either so it was just us it started following us because we had a um overhead um window a mirror so we can look out above um our car and we just saw it like just following us and then at the stop sign um it just decided to descend like it was descending i could see a red blinking light um it was just coming closer and closer and you can see like the mechanics of it underneath 
and I was like, okay, what, what the heck is this? We didn't know what this was. We couldn't take a picture. It was too dark. The flash, I couldn't get it without a flash. I couldn't get it with a flash. So I was just like, the picture just looked like stars. And I don't even think I have it anymore. But yeah, we decided to come back and, you know, make a U-turn and go to the Burger King finally. And that's when it stopped following us. And then after that, pretty much, we never saw it again. Um, it could have been a helicopter, but I did not hear. It had no sound. No sound at all. It was the most, like, chilling thing. It stopped in the middle of the air as if it was, like, looking back at us. As we are looking, like, examining it. And so it was like, yeah, this is crazy. That was about the two most important times in my life where they seen something I couldn't really explain. Um, I do have other stories, but yeah, um, pretty much for that day forward, like the Key, Key West one, I immediately thought, you know, I was like, this is it. Aliens are real. Um, there's something they're not telling us. And yeah, it was just, it was really, really strange. I used to hang out on a military base a lot when I was younger and um, it was kind of funny because as I was talking about aliens, um, some of my friends over there were like, yeah, absolutely, like I have some stories as well. And so it was just, it was really cool to connect with that. And yeah, I really do think that we are not alone in this universe. I mean, by now it's pretty evident, but yeah, you never know what it really is in you know, it's it's just crazy. It's kind of like a double-edged edged sword, basically, to, you know, have, you know, a reasoning of, like, why are we like this, and why are they like that? And, you know, why would they want to come up to us? I don't know. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um comment down below do you have any weird experiences you can't explain any weird phenomenons or phenomena i'm not really sure what the word is but you have a great one and th thanks for watching my video and i hope you really enjoyed the painting